Donc, oui. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. On. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Court officer, could you invite the civil party TCCP 170 into the courtroom? Monsieur l'audience, veuillez faire entrer la partie civile TCCP 170. Good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party. May we know your name? Bon après-midi, Monsieur la Partie Civile. Comment vous appelez-vous? Civil Party. My name is Yin Rumdol. Je m'appelle Yin. Thank you. Rumdol. Can you tell us your date of birth? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Demande le président. Answer. Réponse. In fact, I was born in 1965. Je suis né en 1965. It means I should be 48 this year. However, after 1979, and in order to enroll in my Study. The principal of the school changed my year of birth. Le directeur de l'école a changé mon année de naissance. I am now known officially born to be 11 August 1969. Né officiellement donc le 11 août 1969. Thank you. Question. Where were you born? Question. Où êtes-vous né? I was born in Quarter Five, Phnom Penh. Je suis né au quartier numéro cinq à Phnom Penh. What is your current occupation and where do you live? Question. Quelle est votre profession et où habitez-vous? Answer. I am living in Sela Kotsai Village, Swai Dong Kum Commune, Sela Kotsai District. Simrip province. I am a civil servant. Je suis fonctionnaire. What are the names of your father and mother? And are you married? If so, what is your wife's name? And how many children do you have? Êtes-vous marié? Et si vous vous êtes marié, comment s'appelle votre épouse et combien d'enfants? Answer. My father's name is. Yen C. Dare, and my mother's ma name is Kum Chon. Kum Chon. I am married, Je suis marié. and we have two children. Mon et moi avons deux enfants. Thank you, Mr. Yen Dool. Merci, Mr. Civil Party. Before this call, you are given an opportunity to make your statement of sufferings and harm inflicted upon you materially, physically, and psychologically. Subi préjudice matériel, physique ou moral. Which are the direct result of the crimes that occurred and which led you to become a civil party in this case. The crime which had been charged against the two accused, namely Nguyen and Kyo Sampon, 
and which occurred during the democratic Cambodia regime from the 17 April 1975 to 6 of January 1979. You may proceed. Civil Party, first of all, allow me to express my gratitude to Mr. President and the bench of the trial chamber and my respect to the entire court and through my national and international friends. My name is Nero Mdoul. I am a former orphan of the Democratic Cambodia regime. In 1975, when I was 10 years old, I was a child with the proper care of my parents. And I was a good child towards my parents and I was in a former grade uh, 9. On the 17th of 1975, the Khmer Rouge took control of Phnom Penh City at 9 a.m. at the Jain La Theater and my house was nearby the Jain La Theater in Tours My Bray and I can vividly recall the event. When I saw the black clad Khmer Rouge soldiers entering in Phnom Penh, I applauded uh, with other people as a joie. child. I did not Comme know anything at all. I only saw a number of soldiers vu, and I was uh, happy. Et and I saw a lot of Cambodian people raise a white flag and they made noise, they cheered for the peace that had returned. I also went to see the incoming tanks, the tanks artillery and the cannons cannons by, displayed by the Khmer Rouge. After I saw such an event, I returned to my house and around 10 to 11.30, I heard the gunshots being fired along the street near Swai Prey School. I was young back then. I was shocked. I didn't know why the, the shots being fired. I saw those black clad soldiers, some of them rolled their hands up to the knees and they carried AK 47s, and some of them shot into the air. People who were staying in the house were shot. I, as a young child, asked my mother what happened. Enfant, ma mère, que At that time, I called my mother as Mama, not like the word mother in Khmer. Mama, and she replied that she did not know mère. what was happening. En, en a house who which was opposite of my house was shot in the true. And I recall that there was a soldier from that house, he returned fire. About five minutes later, a group of about five to ten Khmer soldiers began firing into that house. I did not know what tragedy happened after. This is one of the events that I like to bring to your attention. In the evening, my grandparents, Le in particular my grandfather, who was paralyzed, uh, partly paralyzed, père, was in bed, and we did not leave Phnom Penh yet. Il the Khmer Rouge shot il, il était alité, into pas our house. Pen, it could be from the M16 or the AK-47, but we M16. still remained in the house. Mais nous dans la and a little bit before that, my grandmother Ma lit the uh, light and then the Khmer Rouge la shot again into the house. It could be a rocket launcher that uh, rocket. came into the house. All of us, including my parents and mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. uncle, mm -hmm. then decided to leave. Mm -hmm. Along the road, while en route, I walked across Pet Chen toward Monivong Boulevard. Pet Chen, uh, 
and maximum on I knew that the dead bodies that I saw during the night was the result of the Khmer Rouge. And when we reached the bomb at around 7 a.m., the Khmer Rouge stopped us and asked my brother and my elder cousin who they were. And my brother said he was a student and they demanded for a student ID. So he sought the ID and then we were let to go. After we left, left back now, we went to my grandfather's house in a break and I am the stay there for a few days. Village, but we observed that living there was not acceptable as we did not have food to eat and people manger, died along the road and in the river. So my mother and my Donc other ma brother decided to return to my mother's site in Oknya Tay in the Kandal province. La de ma mère After we left Break A, which Après was the native uh, village of my grandfather, the Khmer Rouge, village chief in the area in Oknya Tay, in Kandal district, Kandal province, le chef du did not allow us Rouge to remain peaceful nous, nous because they knew of the background of my father who was a professor and also a, a senior public servant. He was then un haut evacuated évacué from Kaonya Tay, Kandal district, Kandal province, to Wikil so this the hill in uh, Maybang village, dans le village I recall that clearly as I worked together with et my parents and my family, and my family members together with my half-paralyzed grandfather. After living in Maybang village, uh, village de May dans commune, la commune de Vihesu for a few months, mois, the Khmer Rouge soldiers or a village chief or the Rouge militia evacuated us further from the Bang commune from the Kandal district of Kandal province. province de Kandal. The evacuation was confusing as there were hundreds of thousands of people who were evacuated from Mekbang village, Vihisu commune, Sankanda district, Kanda province, and we stopped and prayed Prasop village in Sankanda district, province. There I saw several boats and motor boats Plusieurs embarcations Hacking near the river bank. The Khmer Rouge forced le, us, le that is my fleuve, family members, to board Moi et ma a boat, a monté à bord, traveling to Phnom Penh. Et, um, At that time, I did not know Penh, what happened in Phnom Penh. Pas, I was pretty Phnom young, Penh, and my memory was not a, that a clear. Je but pas upon clair, crossing Phnom Penh through Pregnoe, and when we arrived in Phnom Penh, nous à Phnom Penh it was about 3 p.m. What I saw was just the emptiness vu and le silence. Et le silence. They both almost kept silence, le vide. sized as some people who never le saw Phnom Penh moved to one and side of the boat to look at Phnom Penh city. Côté du we then continued the to break Phnom and we arrived there around 7 p.m. and my family soir, and the rest of the evacuees were forced through board vehicles traveling through Poznan, the province. Upon boarding the truck, the Khmer Rouge pointed the guns at us, and my grandfather, who was half paralyzed, was also forced to board the truck. My mother said de it would be difficult to travel with my half paralyzed father, but we could not leave him behind. Avec son père, and he said that uh, no laisser. worry Et about him, Et just uh, dit, keep us going. Pas de lui. But then Continue. we decided to nous avons décidé lift him up and de have le him lever. with us for the Et journey. De avec nous. And then we traveled to Pursat. When we almost reached Kampung Chenang, Après que nous étions presque there was Kampung a Khmer Rouge truck which caught fire. Um, 
camion Khmer Rouge il avait environ 10 Khmer Rouge soldiers il avait pour un soldat Khmer Rouge qui était armé ran to the scene I was shocked se sont rendus I was a sur la young boy I could not comprehend moi, jeune, what was happening around enfant, me je ne comprenais pas bien ce qui se passait autour de moi we were then Evacuated non, nous further evacué ailleurs until we reached Bakan district in Pusan province. Dans le it was around de Bakan, 7 a.m. and we matin. got off the truck at the Bang Canal mm. Tram Canal station. Nous, allez, nous avons donc débarqué à la gare de Tram Knaar. Lorsque nous sommes arrivés, on nous a mis dans des chalets à deux jusqu'au village de district Et dans ce village du district de Bakkan, province de Pursa. Après être arrivé à Maitab, dans le village de Aupril, commune de Maitab, nous avons été séparés de l'un de l'autre. 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 Nous avons été It was painful to live in that way as I was never separated from my family members, ma from my mother or father or brother. Mère, père, But now it, it happened. And you honest. When I lived in the children's unit, I was tortured like an animal. I was comme un animal because on m'a battu I stole a potato. car j'avais volé une I pomme stole de sugarcane because j'ai volé un I peu de canne à sucre car j'avais faim no il n'y avait pas de nourriture j'ai vécu des choses que je n'avais jamais vécues avant I was tied up, maltraité. I was bitten and my eyes brow broke and the marks remain till today. My mother could not have taken care of the children and I ran to the house but then the militia took me back to the children's unit. It was a great suffering, separating Et from my mother, and of course, I believe you would ça. all understand the situation if you were in the same boat. Pourriez bien comprendre la situation si cela se produisait à vous aussi. Later on, when I was separated from my mother, I was so hungry, so I stole rice seedlings one night. Si fin que j'ai volé des semis de riz. And I ate the, the seedlings, which were still dirty with a mud, but I hate to do it. And je pas eu le then choix. I was arrested by a village chief Puis who was chef kicked, du village arrêté. Il and donné des he then de handed, over, handed me over to the militia. Il my mother at the time was in a hospital, à ma mère and the militia dans était à took me away. Et My mother did not know what happened to me. Ma mère ne savait pas ce qui se passait. My, ce qui she asked me what happened to me, and I said I stole rice and I was arrested by the village chief, and I apologized to her. After I was arrested and tied, after I was arrested My mother said, "If my, if Ma I was arrested, it was like she was arrested." Que si j'étais arrêté, c'est comme si elle l'était aussi. I was walked by the militia together with my mother to a prison in Metokong Commune in Bakan Krao district in Pusat province. Dans un centre de I lived in the Metokong Commune and it was miserable. Dans cette commune, I was emaciated miserable. and I was swollen in part due to the lack of food. Des I did not have anything to eat. 
Je n'avais rien à manger. On m'a battu, je crois, jusqu'à ce que je prison. perde connaissance alors que j'étais en prison. In the morning, they interrogated Et me. le matin, ils m'ont interrogé. On m'a torturé à nouveau. And I, as a child, was forced to engage in heavy work en tant qu'enfant, on m'a fait du travail carry manuel soil très dur. J'ai dû transporter de la terre et de repiquer du riz. After The tortured by the Khmer Rouge soldiers, the Khmer Rouge militia, militia and the Khmer Rouge leaders, chef Khmer Rouge. one day, the village chief and the leaders jour, held a meeting village. that if Les any member of a family fled from a prison, si the entire family would be prison, smashed. I talked about that with my mother. Ai parlé avec ma mère. And I said, If you dit, stay, you would die. Or si if I stay, I reste, would die. Si tu restes, tu mourras, ou si and moi, I je asked for her opinion, Jean and she thought that I must flee Et away. Elle a pensé que je devais m'enfuir. And I could not live in the prison. Je ne pouvais rester dans cette prison. I thought about fleeing. J'ai pensé And I asked enfuir. for her opinion again whether she would allow me to escape. Ce qu'elle en pensait, ça si lui permettrait de m'enfuir. Elle a dit If que I je devais. Fled, si je devais fuir, j'aurais une chance de survivre. Mais ça signifierait qu'elle serait tuée. Et quand j'ai fui de la prison à 8 h du matin, pendant une nuit de nuit, j'ai eu une crise de sang. Et quand les militaires ont changé de chef, j'ai eu une crise torrentielle alors que les miliciens changeaient le tour de garde. J'étais jeune, j'étais so rachitique. Euh, ils ne m'ont pas remarqué. Et j'ai décidé de m'enfuir ce soir-là. I did not know when my mother Died. Je ne sais pas quand ma mère I escaped from prison at around 7 or 8 p.m. under the uh, heavy rain. Soir, sous le couvert de la pluie. I did not look back when I was fleeing in order arrière, to reach, to reach the opium village where my grandmother opium, was living. I ran moment. across the field where people were buried. I was scared and afraid, Enterré, but I had to make up my mind to gain my strength to, to flee. I met my siblings and my grandmother and told them of the tragedy that happened in ma the prison. La prison. I told my aunt ma that auntie Mommy asked you to go and to get the belonging that she had uh, with her, the little belonging. Que But unfortunately, ma when my aunt que ses, elle a récupéré ses biens personnels, went to the prison ma ma rendue where my à la prison, mother was detained, she was told that arrêté, my mother died ma mère était morte at 3 a.m. It was painful to hear that. C'était très difficile à entendre. As her son, I wept a lot. Et j'ai, je suis son fils et j'ai beaucoup pleuré. And my aunt comforted me. J'ai pleuré et ma tante m'a réconfortée. In fact, she almost killed when she was at the prison. Elle a presque été tuée lorsqu'elle était à la prison. She was asked why she went there. On lui a demandé pourquoi elle était venue. I was victimized by the regime under the leadership of Yingsari Pol Pot Nguyen. J'ai été victimisé par ce le régime de Yingsari Pol Pot Nguyen. That was the greatest suffering I experienced. S'agit des pires souffrances que j'ai endurées. After my mother was killed in the prison, as I was told Après by my aunt, I ma thought that la prison, I would they would have come tante. after me and killed me, as they said they would smash the rest of the family members. Qu'ils viendraient me tuer aussi, car ils avaient Let dit qu'ils tueraient toute la famille. I left the village and met with my male cousin who Plus was tard, in the transportation village, unit, and I asked him to, to, to stay with him, as I had nowhere else to go. Par ailleurs, où aller. My cousin contacted the chief Mon of uh, the transportation unit uh, by the name of Tu, who actually rescued me. Et il m'a sauvé. 
because at that time they needed someone to herd the buffaloes and the cattle, pour les he decided to keep me in the unit. Donc il avait choisi de me garder dans son unité. While living in the transportation Alors unit as a child, transport, there were several attempts to kill me, but euh, it was lucky that uh, Uncle Tu actually defended me. Mais oncle Te, lui, m'a euh, défendu. Il chief of the militia a dit au chef de la milice de ne pas m'attraiter, car j'étais jeune et je ne savais rien. At, at present, actually, uncle Te died. I, oh. I went to oncle Te his funeral est décédé. In a Pursat, je suis allé à ses funérailles à Pursat en tant I que witnessed a number of uh, events while I was living with Uncle Tu, namely the torture and the killings. J'ai vu, j'étais témoin de torture, des exécutions, surtout ceux qui venaient de Swahirin. Ça s'est produit en 1978, j'avais environ 11 ou 12 ans. I saw those people were wearing a scarf, notifying that they were from Swahirin, and the scarf was of a blue and white color, bleu et blanc, and they were transported de into Metak commune, as at the time I was herding the water buffalo for Uncle Tu. I saw the Swahirin people coming through the area, and only a few nights later, they were taken and killed in Hongtuk area that is in Metuk commune. commune de I Metuk. saw it because when I heard the water buffalo, I saw, je I les saw what happened and I told Uncle Tu that what, what I saw and he asked Uncle me to keep quiet. I still remember the words uh, by Uncle Tu. And I heard the, the, the buffaloes to the other area. J'ai emmené les buffles à un autre endroit. Later on, plus tard, Uncle Tu was transferred. Uncle Tu a été transféré. To work somewhere near Tunle Sap. Envoyé travailler près du Tunle Sap. That is to work on a charcoal pour aller travailler dans production. It was near the de de charbon. While I was there, I saw another event that a, a family was là, taken and killed. There were about six to five to six members in that family. Et elle a été exécutée. I was still in the transportation unit with Uncle Tu, and I still did the, the water buffalo and cattle. Je gardais toujours le bétail et les buffles. Sous un arbre, the family vu, was executed a few days later. I watched the killing by the, uh, the Khmer Rouge. J'ai été témoin de cette exécution aux mains And then I ran to tell Uncle Tu that dire, people Tue, were killed dit, at the Ram Tree. On avait tué and des he gens told me the arbre. same thing that Ring. is to ask me to keep a Et quiet. Il m'a dit la même chose. Il m'a dit de ne pas en parler. The next events that I encountered été témoin d'un autre événement. was that a family, a member of a family, was raped by the militia. J'ai vu que les militiens ont violé quelqu'un. After she was raped, she was killed. Et ils l'ont tué cette femme après I la knew of the killing because of the scream. Je sais qu'ils l'ont tué car j'ai entendu les cris. And she was killed by the Khmer Rouge. Elle a été tuée par les Khmer Rouge. These events were of a painful nature for me as a child who was about 12 years old. Ces événements étaient durs. Pour moi, j'étais un enfant, j'ai eu 12 ans. What I am stating today to the chamber, to the nation and the world is the tragedy, the cruelest tragedy that happened during the Pol Pot regime. À la cour et au monde, it was worse than any pire tragédie qui s'est produite sous Pol Pot. I lost Nous étions my pire que des father, j'ai perdu mon my père, mother, ma mère, my uncle, mon oncle. 
I want them to give back what they owe me. Je veux qu'ils me rendent ce qu'ils me doivent. In their names and the leaders of the regime. En leur nom, they have to be responsible for Ils doivent être tenus responsables de ces agissements. They have to open the new chapter of their history and to reveal the la bad page, things that they act under the Khmer Rouge regime in their names and the leaders. Sous le régime Khmer Rouge. I've been waiting for 34 years for this day, ce jour and I have it saved in my brain that I will speak out Et the bad deeds by, by those people if I have the chance to do so. Les so that the world and the Khmer people who were victimized et que je no, parlerai de ces méfaits happened. le jour où je pourrai pour que le monde entier le sache. The painful tragedy inflicted upon me as a child, Cette tragédie separating me from que my vécu, parents, un enfant, deprived me, me of my education. What was the morality of the leaders? And that's for you, Mr. Kiesempan, to, to vous, think. Likewise, for Nguyen Chia, you are one of the intellectuals who should consider that, and you must there face the truth, and tell the truth to the nation and the world, and you should not feel regret to do so. I apologize to your honor, as I have to reveal the suffering, the pains that I have kept for so long. Les souffrances que j'ai endurées et dont je n'ai pas parlé pendant si longtemps. On my eyebrow remains on ma... with me today. Et la marque que je and porte sur ceci demeure avec the, moi encore aujourd'hui. Ce sont by your group. You did not love your nation, le but on the contrary, you, you destroyed your nation. Vous n'aimiez pas, vous n'aimiez pas votre nation. Vous l'avez détruite. When the world hear the word Khmer, Quand le monde entend le they mot are afraid. Khmer. They are afraid because of the acts committed by people Ils like you. À cause de, des actes commis par des gens comme vous. President. Le président. Thank you. There is only Merci. 12 minutes remaining Il ne reste que 12 minutes. for the time allocation for the little co-lawyer. If you have any questions, you can put a question si to your client or any question from your client to the accused. Si client a des questions à poser aux accusés. Counsel, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jed Van Lee. Bon lawyer for tous, civil parties, je... and I have a, a few questions in addition to what has been stated je by Mr. Monsieur... Can you tell us again the actual position of your uh, father? Pouvez-nous nous dire quel était le poste occupé par votre père? Civil party. Réponse. Thank you for the Merci question. Pour cette question. My father was Yen Sidaret. He Mon was a Yen professor Sidaret. and a senior military et personnel under the, uh, of the Khmer Rouge. On the 16th, April 1975, he was arrested by the Khmer Rouge. Avant Rouge. Le 16 avril 75, il a été he was par les Khmer Rouge. actually a commander of Division 16 of the Khmer Rouge force in the Dyke Barrack. Uh, he was arrested on the 16th Rouge. of April 1975, and he disappeared Thank you. Question. Question. Do you have any requests to be made to the chamber? Answer, uh, yes, I do. Réponse Mr. President and your honors. Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les Juges. And I would like Mr. Kiersempan and Nguyen Chia to tell the truth. 
disent la vérité. Maître Chudvan Lee interrompt. What I'm asking you is whether you have any requests for the chamber or if you wish to claim for any reparation. Demandez-vous des réparations quelconques. Thank you, Mr. President, Judge Your Honours. La partie civile. Je vous remercie. I'd like this court to find me justice. Les juges, justice for me and for the entire nation. Justice, tant pour moi que pour le reste and to de mon pays. punish the perpetrators proportional to the gravity of the crimes they have committed. They are the ones who are responsible. So Ce sont that eux qui sont to responsables. deter Et je veux they le soit are the comme leaders or the next generation leaders or other world leaders and not to De and to set example for them. Question, example do you wish to claim for any reparation? De dissuader quiconque de faire autrement. Answer. I do not wish to claim for any reparation. Question. Demandez-vous des réparations réponses Non, je ne demande pas de réparations particulières. Je demande à la Chambre de construire un stupa pour ma mère et mon père dans le district de Sakandal, la province de Kandal. Voilà ce que je demande. Un stupa pour mes parents. Merci. Avez-vous des questions à poser aux accusés Réponse. Mr. President, Your Honours, and the Council for the Defence, I have five questions to be put to the two accused. Council, Mr. President, I seek your permission for my client to put the questions to the accused. President, Mr. Jen Brumdour, you can put questions to the accused, but you cannot put the questions directly to them. Your questions to be put through the president of the chamber, that is myself. So you put the questions to me, and then I will redirect them to the accused. If they wish to respond to your question, and you may do so now. If the accused wish to respond, you can now ask your questions. Civil Party, la Mr. Civil. President, Your Honours, Monsieur le Président, I have five Madame questions to be put to Mr. Kusampan and Mr. Nunchir. First, Tout are you aware of the arrest and the disappearance of my father, Yen Sidaret, who de mon père, Yen was a professor and a colonel with his base in Bontier Dyke, near Nea Lume. Second question, have you ever thought of the consequence of the killing or the separations of the family members caused by the Khmer Rouge and by you? The of the family caused by the Khmer Rouge and by you. Have you awakened and feel regret for your participation in the regime de vous réveiller which et de caused ce great que vous avez suffering fait to the entire nation and the entire people. La nation et du peuple. My third question, in your question. capacity as a high intellectual, do you dare to tell the truth regarding the events that took place under the Khmer Rouge regime, so that the nation, the people, and the world know, in your capacity as your senior leaders and as the high intellectuals, and that you gained your popularity because of your intellectuality under the previous regime. My first question. Do you question. plan to express your sorrow to the world, to the nation, and to myself? Au monde. The last question, in Et your capacity as the president of the president of the president, what did de you know? about the level of the living condition of the people who, were, who suffered from hunger, from detentions, arbitrary arrest, 
and tortured and des killing and uh, your regime. Des tortures et des exécutions Mr. President, that is régime. all. The, uh, voilà, Monsieur le Président. My five questions uh, are already put. Questions? The President, le Président, thank you. Merci. I refer these five questions uh, from the civil party to the co-accused, beginning with Mr. Kyo Sampon first, and followed by Mr. Nguyen Chia. Mr. Kyo Sampon, you have the floor now. Je vous en prie. Mr. Kyo Sampon. My respect to the President of the Chamber and my respect to your honours, members of the bench, and my respect to everyone in and around the courtroom. And good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party, Mr. Yen Rumdul. I would like to share with you that if I were you, I also had the same sorrow si à votre and place, pain. Je la même et le même For your first question, May I inform you that I had never known your father. Sachez que je n'ai jamais connu votre père. I had never known Mr. Yen Sidaret. Je n'ai jamais connu Monsieur Yen Sidaret. And I feel extremely sorry for the disappearance. Désolé and the brutal killing of your father. Et de violente de votre père. May I inform you that since I fled the city Depuis and took refuge in the forest, pour me réfugier dans la forêt, I was under the protection of the leaders of the Khmer Rouge sous la des up until Khmer 1979. Et ce, Therefore, I was living in a condition Par that was separate from the ordinary je residence. Séparé des habitants ordinaires. From 1970 to 1979, I had to live close to the leaders of the Democratic Kampuchea, and my role in the Democratic Kampuchea period was to save uh, my life. Régime, Never had I known the atrocity committed by the military commanders and leaders, these notorious acts of those leaders deserve condemnation. I did not know the great suffering of our people. Doivent être condamnés. Je n'ai jamais été au courant des grandes souffrances de notre peuple. I considered uh, this notorious act as the Ces act of actes bien connus. The je les considère crook, and I have already heard 
the testimony Con as well as the statement of suffering of other civil parties uh, thus far. I do share my condolences with uh, them and their family. I am not an ideologist of the uh, Communist Party of Kampuchea, but I uphold my idealism uh, that is to share with the people at that time to help reconstruct our country and develop our country, particularly uh, to ensure that our country is safe and secured. For your second question, once again, question. I would like to express my sincere uh, condolence with you, and I strongly condemn uh, their act, Je and these perpetrators must be brought to justice, justice, and their punishment must be proportionate to the gravity the silliness, the stupidity of these people. The fact that I joined the Democratic Cambodia was not to kill Cambodian people. Si it was not my intention, but it was my determination to help our country, to protect our country, and to develop our country. But unfortunately, it turned out to be completely A, uh, it turned out to be a complete disaster. Cela été un désastre intégral. I have already told the court that I will stand by the court and I will, of course, cooperate with the court to the best of my ab ability and knowledge in their pursuit of ascertaining the truth. That's why I am making every effort to respond to each and every question by the civil parties. And I am also prepared to answer to all questions posed by other parties to the proceedings. As for your fourth question, I would like to respond to you as follows. Yesterday, I put my hand together to express my apology to Madame Hua Chanta. And through Madame Hua Chanta, I would like to express my apology to Cambodian people across the country uh, who suffered uh, so far in the regime. And today, once again, I would like to express my sincere apology to you. I would like to express my sincere condolences uh, to your family, to you and your families, particularly your fathers and mothers and other beloved relatives who died during the period. I understand the great suffering you have had to endure. Question number five. Looking from outside, people would consider that I was someone of authority. Indeed, at that time, my title was huge. But in reality, I had no power at all. I had no authority whatsoever to 
order the arrest Je of anyone. I was working in the top position that I did not know what was going on uh, on the ground, particularly ordinary élevée, people at the base. I did not know that the people had been tortured and abused and mistreated. I did not know that the people had been detained arbitrarily in the base. And once again, I would like to express my apology. I apologize from my heart. And I, even though I did not play any role in the decision-making body of the Democratic Kampuchea, as I said uh, this morning, a rotten apple in a basket would ruin the rest. And as a matter of fact, I am not a rotten apple because I did not commit this heinous crimes, and those who committed these crimes would be the most stupid person on us. And I would not imagine that anyone could commit such a very serious crime. The President, thank you. Now I refer these five questions to Mr. Nguyenchia. Mr. Nguyenchia, my respect to the chamber Je salue and the court. Chambre. The president, Mr. Nguyenchia, please proceed. Mr. Nguyenchia. Interpreter interrupts. Uh, it is not audible for the interpreter. The president, Mr. Nguyenchia, please uh, hold on because uh, your voice is not being transmitted uh, to the courtroom. So uh, hold on for a moment. <coughs> I have commented on the various questions uh, posed by the civil parties. Once again, I would like to reiterate that I am responsible for what had happened during the period of the Democratic Kampuchea. I am not evading my responsibility. I am bearing the responsibility from my heart. I am being frank with you in my capacity as a member of the Democratic Kampuchea, I accept the responsibility, even though I committed directly or indirectly, but I feel remorseful uh, for the crimes that were committed intentionally or unintentionally, and whether or not I had known about it or not known about it. And I would like to reiterate that I take the responsibility morally. Morally, I take the responsibility I need to emphasize. And on this occasion, let me express my sincere condolences uh, to the loss of your family members, Mr. Rumbul. 
pour la perte to my des membres de votre famille, Monsieur Recollection, Rumdual. your name is Rumdual. Si je ne m'abuse, vous vous appelez Rumdual. And I would like uh, to once again clarify plus, my role during the democratic Cambodia period. À du Cambodia Point one, I was the deputy secretary and a permanent adjoint. or standing committee member of the Communist Party of Cambodia in charge of internal education and propaganda. Et Point number two, I was in charge Deuxième of the chairman of the Committee of People's Assembly of Cambodia. These were my two voilà main roles uh, in as for the role in the executive branch I did not have any power or authority in the executive uh, branch and these were the this is the fact and I will leave to the chamber uh, to find out and decide uh, based on this uh, fact and what I did in the past was for the interest of my passé, country and people. Bah, the president, thank you. Le président. Merci. Now I hand over the floor to the prosecutor to put the question to Mr. Rumdul, the civil party. If uh, you Rumdoul. have any question to put to them at all, please proceed. Mr. Simon King. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good afternoon, Mr. President, your honors and Merci, parties to the proceeding and everyone in and outside the Mesdames courtroom. Messieurs, and good afternoon, Mr. Rumdul. Mr. Jin Rumdul, my Colleague, uh, my international colleague and I uh, from the Office of Co-Prosecutors, we have uh, a few questions uh, we would like to seek uh, your clarification. Uh, this is to follow up with what you have testified in court. Earlier on, you said that on the 17th of April 1975, they launch a rocket into Des your house and the house opposite your house. Uh, can you tell the court on jeu. this particular point, why did they do that? What was the reason behind launching rockets into de your house? Response. Thank you, Mr. Réponse. President, and thank you, uh, the co-prosecutor. The event of the attack on my house, I witnessed it by my own eyes. Uh, at first, uh, the my uh, rule soldier just uh, shot the gun into the air in order to threaten the people to leave uh, their house. And um, actually, there was also exchange of fires as well with uh, the resident who uh, actually carried uh, arms as well. Uh, then the Khmer Rouge uh, launched a rocket propeller into uh, the house, so I thought that uh, the person were killed. And at that time, when the uh, exchange of fire erupted, uh, I actually uh, flee for my life as well. I could not actually follow up what had happened, uh, what happened afterwards. Question. Uh, you said that uh, the exchange of fire from, was from the house of a former military commander. Uh, which uh, government or which size of the soldiers uh, was that commander uh, from? Question. Response. The house that I uh, actually saw uh, that there was an exchange of fires, I actually visited that house uh, uh, occasionally too because I went to pick uh, some uh, guavas over there during free time when I was young. And he was a person with the rank of a colonel at that time. Question. At that uh, period, to your knowledge, do you know anything about the fate of the soldiers of the previous uh, administration or the civil servants of the uh, previous administration? Uh, do you know anything about their fate uh, when the Khmer Rouge uh, captured Phnom Penh? Response. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. 
concerning the réponse. event uh, that happened in front of my house, I actually did concerning not know what had happened to the civil servant or soldiers of the Republic Khmer uh, government, but on the 17th of April 1975, there was a forced evacuation of people at gunpoint. Uh, they threatened people to leave their house at gunpoint. Question concerning the evacuation. When your family were leaving Phnom Penh on the evacuation order, what was your impression of the situation along the street? Uh, did you witness any uh, people dying on the street? Or what was your impression? What was the situation like? Response. I, I did witness uh, the event. I was about 10 years plus of age. Uh, I uh, witnessed it. Actually, my brother uh, brought a, tr a car with him, but uh, it ran out of uh, gasoline. Uh, so we actually, when we were going along the ways, we saw a lot of misery. Uh, some people still had their IVs on their, uh, in their hand, and uh, they were still marching out of the city. And I saw sick people, and I saw uh, corpses uh, scattered uh, along the the street. I saw a few corpses uh, somewhere near uh, Khmer Tnal. The situation was uh, chaotic and uh, it was uh, miserable. I also saw sick people being uh, towed uh, by, uh, in, in a cart. I actually did not know what I could uh, have people. I only saw it. Actually, my family were also was also a victims of this evacuation. Uh, and Ma we could not be of any help to others along the street. Question. When you were uh, uh, on the evacuation, did you observe that there was uh, food distribution or protections or health care provided to the people uh, who were uh, being evacuated? Response. Réponse. No, not at all. No. We Absolument pas. did not even have uh, sufficient water to drink, uh, let alone the food. Uh, my mother brought along with her some bank notes, but uh, when we got to the VM, uh, it was dumb uh, away because uh, it was of no use. So we had nothing, nothing at all. Question. When you reach uh, the location where you were supposed uh, to go, uh, did you receive, uh, were you received by uh, anyone, for example, village chief or cooperative chief, uh, to join the cooperative? Or uh, when you got there, then you stay at home? Can you please describe the situation? Response. Response. When I got to Posat province in Opriel village, Metak uh, commune, Bakan district, Posat uh, province, the village chief and the uh, child Le unit uh, separated me from my mother and my older siblings. So I did not stay with them anymore. I was separated from my beloved family. I was forced uh, to leave uh, my family, and they also torture me. I still have a scar on my eyebrow uh, until today. Let me interrupt you now, says the prosecutor. Of course, uh, you said uh, that you were uh, evacuated to Pusat uh, and you uh, got on the train uh, before you reached uh, Pusat province, according to your statement earlier. And then you got on the truck too. Can you uh, enlighten the court uh, when uh, exactly uh, you were uh, evacuated to Pusat and when uh, did you get there? Était évacué vers Pursat et quand y êtes-vous arrivé? Response. 
réponse. To my recollection, it was in late 1975 or early 1976, if my memory serves me well, as for the exact date, I do not recall. Prosecutor, thank you. Uh, that should be enough. On a separate point, when you and your family were being transferred to Posad province, did they tell you the reason for your transfer? Um, what were you supposed to do over there? De Poursat, vous a-t-on dit pourquoi vous y étiez envoyé? Response. Thank you. On this issue, I knew nothing about it because I was far too young at that time. And in addition, uh, I think my mother was not informed of that as well. All she knew was that Anka required her to go there. And I had to go along with my wife as for the reason why we were sent there. I did not know. I only knew that when I got there, I uh, received a punishment. I, uh, I uh, had to... I was made uh, to work extremely hard from 7 o'clock in the morning until 12, from 1 to 7, and from 7 to 11 at night. This was the uh, punishments of hard labors that I had to endure. Thank you. Question. Can you uh, clarify uh, a little further when your family was uh, evacuated to Posat uh, province, uh, do you know how many family members were being evacuated along with your family to Posat province? Combien d'autres familles évacuées également? I cannot come up with the numbers of families who were being evacuated uh, over there, but I could only say is that there were lots of them, and I was very young at that time to come up with any uh, numbers. Prosecutor, yes, uh, that should be should be enough. You say that lots of family members, and in addition, earlier you told the court that uh, you travel back and forth uh, or you uh, in Posat uh, province from one place to another. So while you were on the move, um, did you uh, hear or did you actually learn from your parents or guardian uh, about a place uh, called Tuol Poche? Have you ever heard of it at all? Answer. Réponse. I never heard of the Je name of Tulpo Tray as I was in uh, Bakan district. Tulpo Tray was in Kondiang district. J'étais dans le district de Bakan et Tulpo Tray dans celui de Kondiang. I didn't have any means of uh, knowing of what happened in another district. If I were to go there, I would be killed. Ce qui se passait dans un autre district. Si j'étais allé là-bas, j'aurais été tué. Due to the time limit, I finish my questioning now, and thank you, Mr. Rumdul, for your participation in this court proceeding. Thank you. President, thank you. The floor is now given to Nguyen-Chi's defense to put a question to the civil party. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honor, and good afternoon, Mr. Rumdul. On behalf of Mr. Nunchi, I do not have any questions for you. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. The floor is then given to defense team for Put questions to this civil party. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of Mr. Kirsten Port, I do not have any questions for this civil party. Thank you. President, thank you, Mr. General Rumdul. The hearing of your statement of sufferings, harms, and your testimony is now concluded. And you may now be excused from this courtroom. And your statement of uh, suffering and may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. 
and we wish you all the very mm. best. We souhaite en bonne chance. And have a safe trip uh, for bon your retour, return uh, to your residence. Court officer, in collaboration Puis with the Mr. Gendrum, do for his faire return faire to his residence or wherever he wishes to go to. The time is now appropriate for a short break. We will take a break Nous now and uh, return et reprendre les audiences. at 10 to 3. Ah. 15h10. The court is now adjourned.